So you're tired of paying your film lab exorbitant prices to develop your film, or maybe you just wanna see the film development process from end to end. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that and develop your own roll of 35 millimeter color film at home. We'll start with the materials, then I'll discuss how to mix the chemicals for the first time, how to load the film on the spool in a dark bag. Finally, I'll give a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the developing process. Rinsing with 102 degree water to start, the developer, the blix, rinsing with warm water again, the stabilizer, and finally photo flow. Every product I mention will be linked below and stay till the end where I reveal what's inside this roll that I've had laying around for I don't know how many years. It's like a Pokemon booster pack. First thing you'll need is a changing bag so you can load your film in the dark. Next you'll need a developing tank where you load your film onto the tank spool in the changing bag. You will need actual chemicals to develop the film. I use a C41 kit from Unicolor, and we'll cover how to mix each of these chemicals for the first time in a moment, but it comes with four different chemicals, the developer, the Blix A and B, and the stabilizer. A measuring beaker to measure and stir the chemicals. Distilled water to mix the chemicals. Three chemistry bottles like these from Delta One, which allow you to store these chemicals and reuse them. A funnel to pour the mixed chemicals into the chemistry bottles. A bucket with water to heat up the chemicals and get them ready for developing. And you'll need something to actually control the temperature of this water in the bucket. I use the Cinestill temperature control system and I love it, but there are cheaper sous vide options, which I've linked below. You will though want something to control and monitor your temperature. It's just crucial to keep these chemicals at 102 degrees. Finally, some miscellaneous items, gloves, a bottle opener and scissors, and photo flow for rinsing your film at the end. I'll talk more about the importance of photo flow during the developing chapter of this video, but I highly recommend you pick some up. And, oh yeah, your film. Before you start mixing the chemicals, fill up your bucket with water and using your temperature control system of choice, begin heating the water to 102 degrees. Mix the developer in 800 milliliters of water and stir. And once you're done stirring, top off to 1000 milliliters of water in the beaker. Then using the funnel, pour the solution into your chemistry bottle and make sure to label on your chemistry bottle as developer. You don't wanna be mixing up the chemicals. Next, we're making the Blix solution, which is the same process as the developer. So again, start with 800 milliliters of water in your beaker. The Unicolor has both a Blix A and a Blix B. So start with the Blix A, stir in, then pour in the Blix B and stir. And once both Blix A and B are stirred thoroughly, top off to 1000 milliliters and pour into your second chemistry bottle. Finally, the stabilizer, which again, is the same steps here as the developer and Blix. Start with 800 milliliters of distilled water in your beaker, pour in the stabilizer and stir, then top off to 1000 milliliters and pour the stabilizer into your chemistry bottle. And now you've got chemicals, so you won't have to do this step again for a while and you're free to reuse these. So next step, once the water bucket is heated to 102 degrees, put your developer and your Blix in the bucket and the stabilizer, it doesn't need to be in the heated water, it can just be left off to the side in room temperature. All right, now it's time to load film on a spool in your dark bag. This process can be frustrating and tricky as hell, but I promise you just a little bit of practice and you'll have this process down no problem. So here's what I recommend, and my film peers out there are not gonna like this suggestion, but just ruin a roll. You can have it forever. You can practice as much as you need with it. You can pass it down to your friends when they're learning how to develop film. Trust me, you do not wanna be there in the dark bag worried that you didn't load your film correctly. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like under the dark bag and how the film is loaded onto the spool. When you're doing this live, make sure that you have all your materials in the dark bag. So the bottle opener, the scissors, the Patterson tank with the spool, its center column and its cap, and of course your film. And when this is Velcroed open, there's another zipper here, put all your materials in there, and this is where your hands go. Also for 35 millimeter film, make sure your spool is pushed in like this. If it's out like this, that's for 120. So just twist it, push it in, and twist it the other way, and it locks in. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like under the dark bag. So you have your film here. First thing you wanna do is take your bottle opener to the bottom of your canister, pop it open, you have your film here, 
And now you're ready to load the film on the spool. So you have your film here, it's just cut off the edge ever so slightly. The reason you're cutting this is you're just rounding out the edge and making it a little bit easier to load the film on the spool. So you have your film ready, now take your spool and feel around for the edges. You want them pointing towards you. If they're pointing this way, that's incorrect. So edges pointing towards you, take your film, slowly guide it under the edges, over the ball bearings, you can just start cranking it. And what I like to do is place my thumbs right under the edges and just feel if it's moving. If it is, that's a good sign and it's most likely being loaded properly. And just keep cranking away. until it is loaded on there. And if you still have this plastic piece that is on the end of the film, you're free to just cut it off with scissors. And then just make sure that the center column is inserted and drop it into your passion tank. Then put the cover on and your film is loaded. Step one, fill 500 milliliters of your warmed up water from your bucket and pour it into your Patterson tank. Set a timer for one minute and let it sit. No agitating or stirring is necessary. Just let the water sit. We're giving the film a first rinse. Once that minute is up, dump it out into the sink and we're ready for step two. Step two, the developer. So set a timer for three minutes and 30 seconds and pour your developer into the Patterson tank. Make sure you start your timer right away. And once that Patterson tank is full, begin agitating with your Patterson tank's agitating stick for 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, cover with the cap and begin agitating. So one, two, three, four. So four inversion cycles every 30 seconds, that's it. Don't agitate it more than this. Don't be shaking it. The goal is to just move the liquid around and you're trying to cover the film completely in the chemicals. Once 30 seconds is up, start your inversion cycles again. And keep repeating the step until three minutes and 30 seconds is up. And a tip with a cap, especially with these Patterson tanks, if you don't close it properly, your chemicals will get all over the place. So what I do is I push in the middle and then I just rotate and just keep pushing down until I feel that everything's secured. And then I'm ready to do my inversion cycles. And you wanna be really precise with this. So at three minutes and 20 seconds, start pouring the developer out back into its chemistry bottle. And you've completed step two. Step three is the Blix solution. This is the same process as the developer, four inversion cycles every 30 seconds. The only difference is this process will be for six and a half minutes. Pour the Blix into the Patterson tank. And again, agitate with your stick for the first 10 seconds. Cover with your cap. Start your inversion cycles. One, two, three, four. Once 30 seconds is up, agitate again four times and repeat every 30 seconds. Again, we wanna be really precise with this. So with 10 seconds left, start pouring back into your chemistry bottle. And we've completed step three with the Blick solution. We're almost there. Step four, simple, is just rinsing again with warm water in a sink for three minutes. Step five is washing with the stabilizer. It's the same process as the developer in Blix, but this is just 30 seconds to a minute. Finally, an optional step, but one I can't recommend enough is PhotoFlow. PhotoFlow is just that final rinse to get the water off and avoid any streaks or spotting. So to mix the solution, put one milliliter of PhotoFlow to 200 milliliters of distilled water. In your sink, pour the PhotoFlow into the developing tank. And here you can take your spool out, and just pour it onto the spool and rotate.
All right, it's time. The big reveal. What is inside the mystery box? This is last summer. I see Coney Island, John's Deli, the Disco Nap Girls, it's a train, someone in a hammock, Creator Casa event. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff on here. And I think this last one at the top is me in Greece. Shout out Jules, she took that picture. This is a great roll. This is a combo of all sorts of good stuff. All right, that's all I got. Go develop your own film. Trust me, with a little bit of practice, it isn't that hard. And oh, there's just no better feeling than seeing these memories come to life. Ah, I love film.